In lesson 4.2, we're going to look at the example, can you avoid the blue M&Ms? In this example, we'll utilize the complement rule. Suppose you tear open the corner of a bag of M&Ms milk chocolate candies and pour one candy into your hand. Then you observe the color. According to Mars Incorporator, the maker of M&Ms, the probability model is. So what a probability model shows us is it shows us the possible outcomes along with their corresponding probabilities. So you can see the probability of getting a blue, an orange, a green, a yellow, a red, or a brown M&M. Part A asks us to explain why this is a valid probability model. There are two things we must check in order to prove that something is a valid probability model. One is that each probability listed is between 0 and 1, and we can see that here through the listed decimals. The second thing we need to check is that the sum of the probabilities is 1. And if you do add up each of the probabilities, that adds up to a total of 1, so that tells us, yes, this is a valid probability model. If the probabilities did not add to 1, then we would know that we have either a mistake in our calculations or that we might be missing, in this example, um, possibly a color. Part B says find the probability that you don't get a blue M&M. Make sure that you recognize this word don't get a blue M&M. So we know the probability of getting a blue M&M is 0.24 or 24%. So the probability of not getting a blue, we can use the complement rule here. And the complement rule tells us not getting a blue is 1 minus the probability of getting a blue. So 1 minus the 0.24 tells us the remaining 0.76 are not blue. If you'd like to try more practice with the complement rule, Please try exercise five.